Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about The Mirror. Now The Mirror is something I've covered in the past on the channel, and it is a Godot-powered uh, Roblox-like competitor, an open-source Roblox, if you will. And I should actually say, it was Godot-powered. So what you actually see right now in front of you, this is footage from my video I did back earlier in 2024 of The Mirror in action. Again, it is just trying to implement a game platform, the likes of uh, Fortnite or Roblox, but built on open-source technologies. And one of the key open source technologies there was the Godot game engine. And again, I keep using the past tense here uh, because the Mirror team have decided to port things away from Godot. Now, some of you may be guessing that this is along ideological reasons, and that's not the case. It's actually based off of technical reasons. Uh, and the Mirror is going to remain an open source project. I actually have some speculation of which back end they are switching to. But we're going to jump into it and we'll take a look at um, some of more details and why they switched off. So basically, here is the Mirror's homepage. It is available at themirror.space. Uh, it is, again, a real-time game engine. Uh, and you'll see here, they made the difficult decision to transition from Godot, but we have great things in store. We have like a big thank you to the uh, awesome Godot contributors and community dedicating endless hours of your time to build free software for all deserves the utmost respect. Uh, their uh, V2 announcement will be on Discord. In the meantime, uh, they have a video about the technical reasons why. They also have a blog post. We're going to check it out in just a second. And this is also important. We're still building on open source. It might even include a Godot plugin. So we're going to head on over to said blog post right now. Uh, and we have made the extremely difficult decision to transition the mirror from Godot. First, I'd like a massive thank you to everyone in the community for putting in so much time to create amazing software for free. The next generation of software wouldn't be possible without the often unsung heroic work of open source contributors uh, donating their time to everyone's software free, uh, to give everyone software free. Incredible, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, there isn't a single why, rather a combination of factors for the technically inclined. I've created a video reflecting on the past three years of development. I hope this can be helpful to anyone looking to build uh, a multiplayer 3D game uh, with evaluating key topics from conceptual perspective, uh, such as key architectural decisions and paradigms we made judgment calls on. Uh, so key topics, choosing the best tool for the job, tooling in various ecosystems, team size, ecosystem crossover, certainties versus uncertainties, uh, Would you should you choose Godot, and then we have what's next. So you're going to notice they don't actually say in the blog post what those technical reasons were, uh, but kind of summarizing what I saw from watching the video, and again, if you want to watch the video yourself, it is linked here. I will have a link to it as well in my linked article down below, uh, but point blank, they kind of called it on a couple of technical reasons. The first one was on the underlying HTTP transport. So um, the low level communications tools they needed, Godot just didn't do what they needed to do. They found themselves having to build a bunch of it themselves uh, from scratch and they could never get the determination that they needed there. Uh, the other thing that they commented on was the move from Godot 3 and to Godot 4, as well as some of the hiccups alongside of working with 3D in Godot. And then the other big thing that was pointed out was the physics engine. Now Godot physics, is definitely an area of uh, topic. Uh, some people really despise it. And so a lot of people, they've dropped in Jolt as a physics replacement, which is also what the mirror tried to do. Uh, but for whatever reason, the solution wasn't good for them. So that was the three fundamental reasons. Now, if you're creating a network platform, again, a Roblox or a Fortnite type thing, uh, that HTTP stack is obviously going to be very, very important. There's other things to it. Again, it's a 15 or 20 minute video. I'm not going to summarize it here. But those were the big technical takeaways I saw anyways. Uh, in terms of some of the details, uh, so your account is going to be transitioned. Uh, static assets like 3D models, textures should be fairly straightforward. Game logic will need to be refactored, uh, which we'll work on with you. And please expect some speed bumps and rough edges as we make the transition to a new alpha product. However, we're giving this everything we have uh, to help you make fun games. So is it still going to be open source? Absolutely, the core code will be open source, MIT licensed. Uh, we strongly believe in owning your code and are continuing this mission. Uh, the old code is going to be named Mirror Classic, uh, is the new name for the Godot code base, uh, and it will be in its own folder there. Uh, and it will stay MIT licensed. So if you built on Mirror's technology, the technology isn't going away, but obviously the development of TED technology probably is. Then again, if you want some more details of why they made the decision they did, they are available in that YouTube. Also, you can go on over to their Discord server and find out more details there. So uh, again, the Mirror sticking around. Uh, it is going to, uh, probably if you dig into the code, you might know updates here 
that much. Uh, so the, the fact that they're moving over to another platform uh, is um, definitely going to impact the code. There is a hint uh, in terms of what they're doing with this new platform. And hint, our previous Infinity release, the next release will start with J, capitalized. Uh, and if you watch the video, there is a lot of mentions about JavaScript and JavaScript environments. So this part is 100% speculation, but I wouldn't be surprised that they're moving over to one of two platforms on the back end. Uh, Play Canvas or Babylon JS. These are both popular JavaScript frameworks for um, basically doing a lot of the same things that Godot does, and they could build their tooling on top of it. Uh, Play Canvas even has a UI layer, so they could port their stuff over that way as well. I believe both of these products, the underlying technologies are MIT licensed, or at least MIT compatible. Uh, Play Canvas, the um, the editor is not open source, but the underlying framework is, as is the UI layer. And then Babylon JS is entirely open source. So both of these would be pretty drop-in capable 3D rendering engines if you are interested. Uh, so that is my guess. I'm guessing they're porting over to JavaScript and they're going to use one of these two frameworks. But then pure guess for me, it could also be something like 3JS or something else, who knows? But that is my speculation on this one. Uh, so yeah, that is ultimately the news. The mirror, again, um, kind of like an open source Roblox or Fortnite, uh, built previously on the Godot game engine, is porting away from the Godot engine, and it's doing it strictly on uh, technical merits. It's not on, you know, any ideological issue, at least not publicly stated. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Mirror is moving away from Godot. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.